Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Right, so you guys know that that's one of our favorite memes and every time he plays his flute, you guys already know this is a story about the Pissy Pied Piper, okay? So what's going down is this. If you guys remember, I did a video on R. Kelly the other day where basically I was talking about how Spotify was removing his music, XXX's music, and Tay K's music off of their playlist. And I had gotten some backlash from people. They were saying, you know, you should be happy that they're removing his music from the playlist. You know, um, he's a pervert. You're defending him. Other folks were saying, um, they're not trying to remove him altogether. It's just off the playlist. You know, you're reaching with this. You're going too far. And now, like I stated in my video, it's going to start with R. Kelly, but what's to stop them from saying, you know what, since R. Kelly's doing something that we don't like, well, how about we start removing all these other artists and requesting that all of these other artists get removed off of Spotify's playlist as well. And then literally a day later, people started tagging me in this article, and the article says, Women's rights group asked Spotify to remove Nelly, Chris Brown, Eminem, and others from their services. So this situation is really interesting. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys this letter really quick, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So the women's rights organization is called Ultraviolet, and they penned this letter on May 15th to Spotify, and they're basically applauding them for the removal of R. Kelly, XXX, and Tay-K from their curated playlist as part of a new hateful conduct policy. So this is what they're saying. They're saying, thank you for taking the important step of removing infamous abusers like R. Kelly and XXX from your official playlist. Your action demonstrates that Spotify is following the lead of black women who demand that these two men who have sexually and physically abused women for years not be promoted and celebrated. Shauna Thompson, who serves as the group's executive director, mentions the rippling effect that glorifying celebrity abusers has on the rest of society. She goes on to say, every time a famous individual continues to be glorified despite allegations of abuse, we wrongly perpetuate silence by showing survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence that there will be no consequences for the abuse. That has a cultural effect far beyond the individual artist. She then goes on to basically list a number of rock and hip hop artists that the group demands to be removed from the streaming platform's policy, including the firm mention Red Hot Chili Peppers, Steven Tyler of Aerosmith, and Ted Nugent, along with Chris Brown, Eminem, and Nelly. Honey, I hate to say I told you so, but damn it, I told you so. Go ahead and watch this damn flashback of Tigro Damas telling y'all this shit would happen. Check this out. This R. Kelly situation is getting messier and messier, honey. But you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? So my thing is this. While I understand what Spotify is trying to do and while a lot of people are clapping and saying, yes, yes, remove R. Kelly's music. He's a pervert. He's a pedophile. That's fine and dandy. But my thing is, where does this end? Because what they're saying in that statement rings true, okay? This is just me being objective. If you're going to remove R. Kelly's music based on, you know, you know, this whole Me Too movement, based on people not feeling him right now, then there's going to be a lot of people that also need to be affected, okay? Let's keep it real. Right now, Fabulous is going to court, even though Emily B's goofy self is by his side at court, okay? for basically, you know, domestic violence, for knocking out her two front teeth, but yet and still his music is still on Spotify. You know what I mean? We have criminals like T.I., you know, who's been convicted of multiple felonies. His music is still on Spotify. So my thing is, where does it end? If we're going to cheer them getting rid of R. Kelly's music and Tay K's music and XXX's music, where does it end? So by the logic that Spotify is trying to implement, they're going to need to remove a lot more people's music. Well, are y'all surprised? I told y'all, and y'all attacked me, and y'all said I was taking up for R. Kelly, and y'all said, T, it's just the playlist, it's not the whole thing. Y'all don't understand how censorship works, okay? I'm no fan of R. Kelly. I make videos dissing him all the time. I've been one of the few YouTubers from day one calling his perverted ass out, okay? <laughs> But 
But the point is this, it starts with the playlist. And once, you know, they fall for that, like, okay, well, well, you know, we'll we'll take these people off the playlist. They're going to want more. They're going to eventually say, no, the playlist is not good enough. I want him removed off the streaming site entirely. I want Chris Brown removed entirely. I want XXX removed entirely. I want, you know, the Red Hot Chili Peppers removed entirely. That's what happens, okay? And what I've noticed recently with my R. Kelly videos, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this video while I do this voiceover. Now, I've done numerous videos on R. Kelly. They've always been approved, okay? But these last two videos I've made on the R. Kelly situation were both demonetized. You know, watch these videos I'm talking. These other ones were approved. These last two were both demonetized. So that goes to show you they are trying to censor anything concerning R. Kelly, anything talking about freedom of speech. It starts with R. Kelly's music and then it starts to snowball from there, okay? If this is the case, we'd have to damn near get rid of every artist because numerous artists from rock and roll artists to rap artists to hell, even country artists have been involved with abusing women or getting arrested or having felonies. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people's backgrounds in the industry are not squeaky clean so if we're going to get rid of the r kelly's then you have to be fair across the board they're using r kelly as a scapegoat to basically censor music to basically say who can and can't make money in this genre okay that's the big picture that's how i'm looking at it that doesn't make me a defender of r kelly or defender of his actions I will always be a defender of free speech because I'm a YouTuber and I know how that feels to be censored because somebody doesn't agree with you, because somebody doesn't like your race, because somebody doesn't like the fact that I'm a black woman on a platform and they try to shut you down and flag your videos and all this and that. You know what I'm saying? I know how that feels so I can sense censorship coming, honey, from a fucking mile away. That's why I'm not on board with this. At the end of the day, the only person that you control in this world is yourself. If you do not like R. Kelly, then don't play his music. Don't download his shit, okay? But you don't have the right to say that his music shouldn't be there or that he can't profit off his music because once you say that, you need to say that for everyone across the board, okay? Because Eminem's lyrics are a lot more harsh than anything R. Kelly has ever said in his music. Let's keep that all the way 100, okay? T.I. has several felonies. R. Kelly, for whatever reason, has gotten away with a lot of bullshit. But this man was a convicted felon. So should T.I. not be able to eat and provide for his family because of his criminal record? You know what I'm saying? So this has a snowballing effect. We have to look at this with a clear mind and stop looking at this from an emotional point of view that I just want R. Kelly shut down because once you say that, it's going to come back and affect some of your favorite artists, okay? And another thing, I'm tired of people looking at this as some type of, you know, justice. Oh, he's getting removed off of the playlist. This is justice. This is not justice. If you guys want justice for these victims and you guys want justice for these women, then R. Kelly needs to be in jail. His music not being on a playlist does not equate justice and I see too many women applauding this step by Spotify they're equating this to some type of justice that's not justice this man has not had his day in court like let's stop conflicting the two his music being removed off of a playlist does not give justice to those victims out there okay so I just find this whole situation insane and I'm sure this video will also be demonetized now because now YouTube is also following suit and they're demonetizing stuff with R. Kelly's name in it you know which to me is a shame because at least know the difference between somebody defending r kelly and somebody calling out the bullshit of r kelly so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation you know with now these women groups coming back and saying to spotify that okay cool you know what i'm saying you got rid of r kelly's playlist here goes a bunch of other artists that we also feel should not be allowed on spotify you know and now spotify you know If they say that they're not going to do that, then they're hypocrites. You can't do it for these three and then say you won't do it for the others. You know what I'm saying? And why a lot of, you know, even white folks were applauding this and saying, good, you know, rap music is bad. You know, it's a a detriment to society. Well, now your own rock and roll artists and your own country music artists are now also being thrown in the pot. So do you guys understand that this is bigger than R. Kelly? This is about censorship. And I'm against that. I don't care. I'm against censorship 100%. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Miss Gay!
Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.